Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes. We're back with another one, guys. So, AMC, we are in a good position, guys. And this may be the last time to get AMC cheap. Because the reason I say that is because from here, we definitely should be going up to the $28, $30 range from here. Find support near that resistance at $27.50, $28, and continue to uptrend from there. But obviously, as we know, guys, the stock market isn't to be made easy. And then these mean stock frenzy mean stop crave that's going on we know this definitely isn't made to be easy being for the fact that the main people in the world that has the world going around every day retail investors the worker bees those people is becoming more conscious of what's going on around them they able to now you know utilize the stock market and help build wealth for their families to where they may get to the point and if they get too smart then we're not able to control them and have them be our worker bees anymore we have to you know find a whole new system because if you dig way deep 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 down in the rabbit hole this thing is coming back it's bigger than what may what a lot of you may even realize and it's coming back to bite the government the big dogs the ones that's controlling everyone else is coming back to bite them in the ass and the reason i say that is because if you take a look back and if you just look at what they be saying in the media like they would just you know even i had said this year uh year or so ago just saying like how all of the attention and all the hype even came about with GameStop and AMC, being for the fact that many retail investors, the average everyday American, was bored because of COVID. COVID-19 keeping people in the house, it's having you work at home jobs, it's giving you more ample time, more time than ever before to actually tap in with your creative self, tap in with your true self, or to have time to even think outside the box and come up with something. That's the thing why COVID wasn't going on, it's so much stuff to keep us distracted. So many trips, so many friends and families, parties, and so much going on to keep you distracted. You'll never have the time that you had when COVID hit and have you locked in the box. I take that and put that as an example as being locked up in a jail cell. Of course, some may say, well, everybody would be winning right now and then. Nah, it don't happen like that for everybody. But for most and some people, a nice percentage of people, it can change their life and their perspective. They're just like being locked up in a jail cell. If you locked up, some people come out of that jail cell way better than they were before they went in there. Mindset. Because it ain't about where you at. It's all about where your mind at. So if these people switching up their mindsets because of COVID, when we intended to have this be a plan to help us gain even more control actually coming back to backfiring on us and letting them have more control because that's giving them more time to be free and think for themselves and to come up with new ideas and invest money and to become wealthy or whatnot but what i'm saying is basically being in that box locked in your house for covid is like being in a box locked up in a jail cell and when you locked up in a jail cell if you got a, a if you a strong person and got a powerful mind because like I told you guys, for the ones that don't know, I was falsely accused for a crime I didn't commit in 2016, fresh out of high school. Then being able to join my summer, none of that. Straight out of high school, growing into a bit from a boy to a man, you, you know, face something like that in life. But anyways, during that time, I'm not mad that it happened. Because during that time of me being put away, I was able to precisely make a plan and execute that plan down to the T, just as I envisioned it while I was locked up. I'm talking about, you know, right, I ain't even gonna go too much in detail, but everything that I did up until this point in my life, I already envisioned it and wrote wrote it down, plan for plan, step for step. As soon as I got out, I attacked that plan and never looked back since. And then it's always, you know, nobody never planned their life all the way to the, you know, 30, 40 years from now. That was just the beginning of my life. What I wanted to see my life for the first five to 10 years from 18 to 28. Now I'm in a new phase of my life. I'm on a different journey. And now I had to go regroup and replan and make a new plan for my next 10 years of life. And I'm pretty sure 10 years from now, I'm gonna have to regroup and do the same thing because I'm in a different phase. But anyways, long story short, guys, you know, I like to put gems in my videos and let you guys know exactly how life and all this stuff corresponds with the stock market. But anyways, what we was really getting at is, you know, this thing is more dangerous than a lot of people see. Like these retail investors, all of us coming together, buying up the stock, you know, people being smarter and all this stuff is just coming back to bite them in the tail. But AMC ain't mean to get thrown off too much, off too track like that. 
thrown off the track too much like that. But what I'm getting at is, you know, they're going to try everything in their power to get AMC back down. They tried everything this week to get us under 20. As you know, we was outperforming the overall market all week, even the day before CPI inflation data was reported. The overall market was tumbling hard. AMC was holding firm, steady like, you know, nothing ain't going to be able to take me down or back down. And with that being said, guys, now on Friday, as overall market was up trending hard or recovering, you know, doing going up nicely. Overall index is all up. AMC is down bad in the red, down over four percent. Even though it's still at twenty four twenty, it still didn't really move much. It's still in the same spot that is being in a one bit consolidation. If you zoom out, other than the day on the tenth, um, other than the day on the tenth. When they tried their hardest to get us in the 20, and we came down to $20.88. Other than that, we and soon after, we bounced right back to 24 between that $24 and $26 territory. And right now, that's where we're hovering at, between $24 and $26. Now that we broke $24.39 on Friday, coming down to $24.20, that's giving me an indication that the breakdown is going to go into effect on next week, meaning they're going to try one last time to get us under 20. If they fulfill it, It'll be a quick pullback just to scare people out, just for AMC to really rip and roar once it starts to run. Because I always remember, the bigger the pullback, the bigger the rip once it starts to run. So worst case scenario on next, next week, once it starts to pull back, if you want cheaper shares, will be $20.88, right around the low 20s, guys. And if they do break, decide to break the low 20s, worst case scenario, worst, worst case scenario will be the high teens, right around $17, $18. But it will happen very quickly. It'll drop down very, very quick. And a lot of people that's not educated, don't know the market or how to operate, they'll sell in fear of panic that it's going thinking it's going down to 10 or 9 or 8 and really it's just dropping fast like that to make the the to make you even more scared and then as soon as it drops like that it's going to pick back up very drastically and quickly because from here amc should be should have been up friday it should be up we even got you know amc's the the the, the big dog one of the most talked about stocks in the game right now and even you know is even having a stronger community than gme in my opinion i believe amc community is more stronger than gamestop as of now and still standing and then beth bad beth bed bath and beyond up over 22 percent on friday alone the percentage increase that amc should have been seeing because i know their community and the retail investors behind it ain't as strong as amc but as we know guys all these mean stocks is going to run together it's like a, a sympathy play once one take off they're going to drag the other ones along with it so i'm not hating on bed bath and beyond because if it continues to run up you know go up another 50 percent 60 percent it's going to theoretically pull amc and gme up along with it guys so you already know what to do like i say guys add your boy on instagram at the b hey show get in vip i love y'all we out and god bless you we go